All right, guys, quick video tonight. I want to talk to you about pre-charge. Pre-charging the caps on your pretty much anything. I mean, anything that has a bank of capacitors like your inverters or all kinds of equipment has that, right? So when you plug in stuff that has capacitors, there's a spark. Now, sometimes if it's like a little device, it's a little spark. But when you're talking about like a huge system like this, this is 4,000 uh, watts of uh, inverters. I'm gonna put four kilowatt hours worth of battery, right? With big connectors and stuff. That spark right here, if I just connect that in here, there's gonna be a huge spark. And what happens is that you could damage your connectors here because that spark is gonna be so big that it might melt the contacts and then they're not gonna work as good. So you do that a few times and then you ruin your connector. So what you have to do is you have to pre-charge your caps on your thing. How do you do that? Let me show you. All right, here we go. These four inverters are connected in parallel, right? And then they terminate into this plug here. This other plug here is the one that's coming off of the battery. This battery here, it's at 41 volts, right? This, this, all these batteries here can put out five amps each. So they add up. There's like uh, 24, 25 of these in here or something. So you do the math. There's quite a bit of power that can come in here. And then they're fused into these big giant fuses. Each one is 80 amps. So theoretically, this could do about 160 amps uh, for a few seconds, right? Before these uh, uh, fuses will go, right? So there's a lot of power here that are capable, right? So the, so here's how we're gonna pre-charge the caps here. I have connected on this side a power supply. This power supply is set to the same voltage as those batteries right there. And so, uh, as you will see here on the little meter on the power supply, in a few seconds, the caps will get there. So what you want to do is you want to set your power supply to the right voltage and to the right uh, current. So I have it set to zero right now, the current, right? And then you want to connect it. And then only once everything's connected, then you could apply power to the power supply. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to do thing here okay so there we go right now it's at zero everything's at zero because i turned this off right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start applying current and there we go it's so like one amp and it's going and boom just like that in a few seconds the caps over there now are at 41.7 volts 41.7 volts so now those caps right here are charged with uh, electricity, right? And so now when you connect that plug to that plug, there's not gonna be a huge differential. And that means that then there's not gonna be a huge spark. So let's try it and see and do it in camera. I always flinch when I do these connections because I don't like sparks, right? I don't like sparks, um, period. But I don't like sparks when they're not, okay, positive to positive. Negative to negative. Okay. Oh, no. Are you telling me these are different? These are different. Okay. I'm going to have to change the plugs here. So these are different brands. Uh, that's a thing we keep getting from different suppliers. They keep sending them different, and there's slight differences on these. Okay. Let me change that, and then we'll come back. All right. We're back now. Now these two connectors are the same. Should work. Oh my God, okay. Yeah, so it was nothing. No spark. Why? Because both connectors have the same voltage, right? So now what you can do is you can disconnect this in here because uh, that served this purpose. So now you can turn it off. And now we continue with our test. So that's just one way that you can do pre-charge, right? You use a variable voltage power supply and then you charge the caps and then you connect your battery right slowly charge your caps another way to do it is to connect the actual battery 
right? But not connected directly, you use a resistor. And there are a couple of other ways, other components that you can use to do that, right? But for right now, this is the only one I can show you. So there you go. Uh, if you were wondering how to do this, how to eliminate those sparks, how to not destroy your high current connectors, pre-charge your caps. That's what you have to do. All right, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys in the next one, bye.